David Bay here for MuscularDevelopment.com. We are here in Vegas for the 2016 IFBB Olympia Weekend, hanging out here at the High Tech booth with one of the most recognizable faces in mixed martial arts today, Holly Holm. Holly, first off, thanks for taking the time to be with us this afternoon and gracing the cover of uh, Fitness RX for Women, one of uh, Muscular Development's uh, partner publications. Um, what do you got going on? I mean, you know, we know you're one of the busiest athletes in the mixed martial arts scene. Uh, give us a little insight of you know, what's coming up for you and what you've been up to. You know, I broke my hand in my last fight, and so uh, I had surgeries on, surgery on it, and it's nice and healed. I just got the pins taken out, so we're just kind of, um, I should be punching in a couple weeks, and then uh, we'll be able to kind of plan from there. You know, it's kind of hard to really commit to a fight until I know for sure that I've been released 100%. So, um, but I want to be able to be back at it as soon as I can. All right. Now, as far as you know, fitness and weight training and all that, you know, uh, this is the atmosphere we have here this weekend. With an injury to your hand, obviously, you know, an athlete like yourself, you're not just going to take time off of, of training altogether because you got you know you got one hand. Um, what's your training been like, absent uh, being able to punch with that hand? I've been running. I mean, you can do a lot of stuff without your hands, but um, I've swam a couple times. I've um, lunges, box jumps. I mean. Uh, sprints, stuff like that, you know, but uh, I also am not against giving myself a little bit of a break. Um, I needed a little rest after the last fight. My body needed it, so I took a couple weeks to myself, and then I was back at it. All right. Now, it, when we talk again about bodybuilding fitness competition here at the Olympia weekend, uh, competitors in the fitness industry, you know, it's a 10, a 12-week diet and prep and all this stuff where training gets amped up before a show. Um, what does your regimen look like? You know, you have a fight coming up. Um, how does the training change, uh, the, the cardio and the weights and all that stuff leading into a fight? And, you know, what's kind of the time frame where you start making adjustments? You know, I, um, eight weeks out, if you get a fight known that amount of time, usually that's about the going kind of right there, eight weeks. And um, everything kind of, I, I like to peak when the fight comes. Um, I'm doing a I run five days a week, uh, I hit mitts about four to five days a week, I spar two days a week, wrestle two days a week, uh, do like MMA, uh, like base jiu-jitsu, um, it just depends, but each day there's probably a difference about four, hour, four workouts, uh, depending on the day. All right, uh, we're going to wrap things up here pretty quick. We know you got a ton of fans waiting in line, meeting, waiting to meet you. We got pictures there for you to autograph. Do we have any sort of time frame? as far as uh, when your next fight is going to be, or is that kind of a wait and see on your hand? Yeah, it's just a wait. You know, they're not going to schedule something until they know for sure that I'm cleared. And like I said, I just got the pins taken out uh, within the last 48 hours. So, um, but I should be able to punch in a few weeks, and I'll be ready to get back, right back at it. So. All right, well, we're definitely looking forward to seeing you back in the octagon. And again, thank you for your time. Best of luck in your next fight, whenever that may be, for myself and everybody at MuscularDevelopment.com, hopefully very soon. Guys, that's going to do it for us one more time. David Bay with Holly Holm for MuscularDevelopment.com here at the High Tech Pharmaceuticals booth at the 2016 IFBB Olympia Weekend here in Vegas.